Alright everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Subterranea, part 3. We are in level 5. We are moving right along, but don't get too excited because the first 6 are about as normal as they get. 7 through 10, believe me, you don't want to know, but you're gonna. Regardless, here we go. The nuclear power plant is about to explode, so we must destroy it. Wait, let me destroy it? What kind of sense does that make? Oh, it's gonna blow! You better destroy it! Okay. Yeah, I'll bet the atmosphere will be contaminated. I'm gonna blow up the... I'm gonna blow up the power plant. That's all I'm gonna say. Saboteur. How fancy. Yeah, if I don't blow myself up trying to get it... Oh, an ant lion. An ant lion sabotaged a nuclear power plant? Come on. Now, summary should read, destroy nuclear power plant, run like hell. That's it. Anyway, here we go. We're just gonna sit here and destroy these guys before we get moving. Alright. First order of business is... God! Damn it, I shot my fuel. That's gonna come back to bite me. And I know it. Regardless. The first order of business is to go find the anti-shield fire. Mission report doesn't exactly tell you that. But... I wonder if it did. I'm gonna be honest, I don't pay too much attention to those. Ah, anyway. Anti-shield fire right here. We need that to break through the shield that is surrounding the nuclear power plant. As you can see, the pathways are getting more narrow. Oh my god, there it is. Pathways are getting a little more narrow. Two blasts of the anti-shield, and there it goes. Alright, that nuclear blast was a bit anticlimactic. This is ridiculous. This reactor core is so heavy, it drags down your ship. Plus, I'm about to run out of fuel. I don't even know why I'm continuing on. It's pointless. I'm nowhere near. There's only the one fuel tank in the entire level. Yep. First death! Believe it or not, there we go. There's another one in this episode, by the way. All right, normally I, I would edit out this, me going back, but I just wanted to show you that if you die, everything you've done stays done. But the items come back. So, luckily, I can go back up and grab some of that fuel that I shot up earlier. I can make it up there. The ball seriously makes it way too hard to fly. Alright, so this part is easy. The easiest boss fight in the whole game. Drop the core into it, and boom. Gone. Dead. Grab the sub module. We're out of here. Almost. We still have to collect a few more survivors. Be careful not to shoot them down. Ah, oh, and I accidentally picked up the green level 3 weapon, so you guys will get to see a new weapon. But not in this level. There's nothing else to shoot. So that's it. Mission 5 is actually fairly easy. Seems to me the difficulty curve of this game is a little out of whack. So far, the hardest level has been the third one, with the uh, mirrored and the lasers. And this one seemed fairly easy. Of course, the first one is easy. Oh my god, that map looks complicated. And trust me, it really isn't. This is the last level you get of quote-unquote normal gameplay before they throw the biggest curveball at you. But we'll get to that next time. I'm getting ahead of myself. First order of business, destroy Krang. I mean, that ugly robot doodad. Minimum of five fuel miners barely survive the attack. Well, what can you say? Oh, look at them. They're just hanging out, waiting for me. I'm coming, guys. No information regarding the location of the submodule. I bet you it's behind the boss. <gasps> no, really? And I'm not saying this because I've played this before saying this because it always happens that way. Alright, destroy guardian robot. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's move along. Move it along. 
Alright, this level... Not much to say about it. It's actually not as hard as the others, but... I'm gonna die! I'll tell you that right ahead of time. Spoilers. I thought I might want to change back to blue, because I love it so much, but... Just because I'm such a nice guy, I'm gonna let you guys see green for a while. But I hate it. It's so erratic, it's hard to aim. Anyway, I didn't show you this in the second level, but you can latch on to these rails. Makes for fast travel. Still drains your fuel. There's a few miners there. Still drains your fuel, but... I mean, you're moving faster, so... It is a better way of travel. That and you are not gonna hit the walls. Alright, down here we're gonna get an extra life to make up for that one I foolishly lost. To the fuel bullshit! Anyway, more fuel, more miners. I have four now. Something tells me there's more than five. We're gonna make our way to the guardian robot who's down at the bottom of this level. Through the narrow passageways, and I'm just gonna kill myself here running up against the walls. Wow. I must have been drinking a little too much last night. I don't know what happened. Yeah, all these enemies are not helping me keep my shield. Down here is the Guardian Robot. Holy cow! That's a big ass laser. Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright, so there's death number two for you guys. <sighs> I can't deal with the green weapon anymore. I'm going back to blue. So, consider yourselves uh, lucky that you saw that. But from now on, I'm sticking with the blue weapon. Because it kicks ass. And that's all I gotta say. So, back to the guy. Another advantage of dying is all the hits that you did stay, you know, intact. So all the shots that I shot at him earlier, he has the same damage that... I don't know what I'm trying to say. Man, I sound retarded. What I'm trying to say is the damage that he had earlier is the same. So I'll have to shoot him a few more times. So the sub-module is back here. I'm just gonna get in there. That's it, we've done everything. We now have all six submodules. We are now ready for underwater travel. And by we, I mean Subterranea Guy, not me, because the underwater travel is ridiculous. Start picking up a little fuel before I die. And then up here, that's just a shield recharger. Don't really need that. Should have used that earlier. Probably wouldn't have died, but you know how I roll. God, these passageways are too narrow. Anyway, that doesn't matter because in the next level we've got water. We've also got way more messed up gravity. I don't know. It's weird. You gotta see it. But you will. Anyway, that's the end of this mission. It's been fun. It's been real. It's about to get a little more fun. It's about to get a little more real. This is Mecha Prime, signing out.